Bart Simpson and moving down actually Bart been holding number two for some time but drops to number three before that a non-mover at number four for Candyman and Knocking Boots. We are here on Dial MTV with the number two and number one positions yet to be and also today's hot tip so I'll see you very soon. <laughs> So, Vanilla Ice swaps places with Bart Simpson and moves up to number two. Now, obviously, if there's a particular video that you want to see here on Dollar TV, it's up to you to do something about it. You can phone us. I'll give you the phone numbers a little later on. But remember, in mainland Europe, it's between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock. On this side of the water, it's between 5 and 6. If there's a style of music you want to see, be it heavy rock, be it hip-hop, be it pop or whatever, make sure you pick up the phone and let us know what it is. If enough people want the same thing, it'll be here on the show. For instance, we have a hot tip coming up next. It's from the Bristol band Massive, previously known as Massive Attack. Now, this particular clip was filmed in downtown LA and it's well worth watching because there's no edits in the video at all. The camera operator or the steady cam operator is a man named Dangerous Dan who's worked with David Lynch on movies like White at Heart and also a Blue Velvet. Check out this video, Unfinished Sympathy. Massive and Unfinished Sympathy. Now, if you actually want to see that particular clip here on Dial MTV inside the top five, then it's up to you to do something about it. You can phone us. You can't phone now because the lines are closed, but tomorrow in mainland Europe, between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock Central European time, on this number, it is 44483 461061. On this side of the water here in the UK, the same rules apply, but it's between 5 and 6 here in the UK, and the telephone number is 0483 461 061. So now it comes to uh, the number one position. And this particular clip reached number one here on Dial MTV on the 1st of February 1991. It's been there all this month. So if you want that to change or you want it to continue, remember it's up to you to get onto that phone, all right? So here they are for the, uh, what is it, the 26th day? 26th day at number one for them. We are talking New Kids on the Block and Games. I'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. Bye-bye. Dial MTV was sponsored by Pepsi. Tuesday evening, 2000 Central European time. That's 2000 to us sailors, of course, 8 o'clock to land types. And this is Music Terrorism with Ray's request, so stick around for your favourite videos. To you and hello and how are you today? Good, fine. So am I. And how are you, Rob? Very well, thank you. Very well. Rob's very well. Good pity he's not, you know, feeling depressed and things, no, isn't it? No, no. We buried the hatchet. We've buried the hatchet, and we're back on form this evening. So do stick around for your favourite videos and some of your mostly entertaining letters. I mean, I don't want to take all all of the all of the gratitude and success of this program. It is, of course, you who makes this as successful as it is. Of course, it enables me to demand huge pay rises. So please do keep writing in. Now, that's not true at all, actually. The first letter this evening is um, a bit of a strange one because I'm not sure whether or not... Well, let me read it to you and see what you think. Hello, MTV. Not even hello, Ray, this one. We're the group of penguins lost in the Atlantic Ocean near Africa and we need help. Now, I'm a bit dubious about this because I'm not sure if uh, penguins can uh, write English. Yeah. I mean, they'd probably speak in penguinish, wouldn't they? So, I don't, I don't think this is from penguins because they would write in their own language. But anyway, we'll believe it. We travelled from north... This is a very sad story. We travelled from the North Ocean to the south to visit our friends, the other penguins. But our ice ship melts and we can't travel now. So, we're in a very bad mood. You can help us because we have TV on our ship and we can watch you. 
I'm not sure if it's legal, actually, to be watched by penguins. I'm, I don't know if get into this. I don't know whether you should be reading Bit it. dubious, really. Still, we're an environmentally friendly, friendly programme on this programme, and we don't want to be penguinist at all. And you, may, you do um, say, please play a song from beginning to end, and we can go to the King of Penguins. This is all getting a bit too children's television, isn't it, really? So let's just play this fine song from the Sundays, and this is from a group of penguins in North Africa, and it's from the album Writing, Reading, Writing and Arithmetic, one of the best albums of last year. This is where the story ends from the Sundays. Good stuff on Laser Fest. People are now, places I go. Write request with some very entertaining letters coming up this evening, so please do stick around because there's the what makes this programme what it is today, really, your letters. I've said that before, though, haven't I? I'm repeating myself. Oh dear, time to retire while I'm at the top. This is from two people who are writing at the same time. One is, um, they're from Hungary, so hello. They're from, one of them is, well, I'll read it to you. I'm a 17 year old Hungarian boy, says Andrew, and I'm a 17 year old Hungarian girl, says Zoe. So Zoe and Andrew are writing the letter at the same time, and Andrew says, I'm, I'm my name's Andrew, but please call me. MC Vivian. <laughs> Obvious connection there, you know, Andrew shortened to MC Vivian. And uh, they say a few things about us, Rob and I, that they know about us. They say that we know that Ray, for example, you love your Yamaha, indeed I do, but you don't like Volvo motorbikes. We almost got it right there. Motorbike people don't really like Volvo cars because they're great big tanks riding down the road and they sort of, they, if you hit them, then you nothing left of you, but the car's not touched at all. And that's why we don't like them. But I want to know is who is your favourite tennis player? Don't like tennis, so that's all right. And uh, what I want to know, your favourite football team and player, don't much like football either, and uh, Zoe wants to know, they're even more interesting than all that, really, is nothing about you, Rob, I'm afraid. Oh. Rob was waiting a bit impatiently oh. there for Rob, but, uh, but there's nothing about you, Rob. Um, I bet with Zoe, because we said that you couldn't do a handstand, and um, if you can't, then Zoe wins the bet and she gets to see the house martins. Well, it's one of those funny things, isn't it? I've reached the ripe old age of... 22 and I still can't do a handstand so I'm afraid you have one Zoe and here's the happy hour from the house Martins because we're always happy on this program <laughs> 